14 games when an opposing team has 50 or more rush yards uh, better than the Browns. Uh, Browns are 0-14 uh, with Baker Mayfield as their starter. Shannon Sharp uh, talked about that um, as well um, as what he saw yesterday from uh, Baker Mayfield and Mac Jones. When Baker Mayfield teams gets outrushed by, I think it's 50 yards, Steve, and I was looking up the stat. Mm. Do you know he's 0-14? Average margin of victory is 27 points in defeat. Mm. That's Baker Mayfield. What I've told you, he's a complimentary piece. Mm. First round of being selected first overall does not make you elite, even though you want a Heisman and even though Skip Bayless banks on you, mm -hmm. believes in you. Yep. He was awful. Mm. And Jenny said he left the game with knee and hip. Before he left the game, they were down 30. One seven people, y'all at home, y'all notice yep. this. Now y'all didn't hear anything about no labrum. Y'all didn't hear nothing about no broken shoulder last week when he hung forty one mm -hmm. on, on Cincinnati. Yeah. This week, no. He Mac, sucked it up. Now guess he what? It out. The Patriots just listed Mac Jones on the injury report, mm. but he broke his foot off in Baker Mayfield bluff. Wah wah mm. wah wah. He on the injury report now. He's listed as doubtful for this week on a Thursday night game. Okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, it is an interesting stat about uh, when uh, the Browns get outrushed. It shows you how important the run game is uh, to Baker Mayfield being successful. Yeah, and, and that's how the Browns are set up, right? I mean, they're set up to run the ball a bunch and to dominate on the ground and control the clock and all those things. So I think that plays hand in hand. That's, that stat, to me, is not shocking. Now, does it show that Baker Mayfield doesn't tend to overcome that? Yes. Does he not take over games? Yes. Um, and, and this is – and I think we've established that Baker's not elite, right? Yeah, everybody's seen it. He certainly hasn't played to an elite level for most of this year. If you – you know, he did maybe for the last seven or eight games a year ago, you can make an argument that he was getting closer, but is not built upon that like we talked about. Um, but I, I do think it's interesting when you talk about Stefanski's offense and the system and his philosophy – I'm not sure he needs an elite quarterback. Obviously, that would help. But it's built to have a quarterback complement the run game and do all those things, And which is why Baker might be able to succeed in this offense. But, again, when things go south and you're losing by 17 points, then it's a lot – Not number one, it's tougher for the quarterback, and Baker hasn't shown that he can lead that comeback. Number two, if you don't throw it that much all the time, then it's really a change in philosophy – all of a sudden in the third quarter, it's, hey, instead of play action and misdirections and bootlegs, we're going to drop back and sling it. I, I think that's a tough switch to flip. And I, I just think I, I'm not sure if Stefanski needs to change that, needs to change the philosophy overall or built in something different. Um, but I, I think if it doesn't go the Browns way, according to plan, it certainly is tough for them to to make any kind of rally or win a different way, win with a different formula. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. And, and look at how successful first drives have been with those scripted plays. And then once the defense reacts, you know, th there has to be a, you know, a switching and a counterpunch, if you will.